Bonjour and bon appetit, my friends. Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in the Norman countryside here in Normandy, having a really great adventure with the family here, and it is a fantastic place to visit. Whether you go to Mont Saint Michel to see the most photographic place in in France, or you want to go to Rouen and see the cathedral there, or go to you know Bayeux and see the tapestry. There's so many great things to see here, but there's a lot of great things to eat here as well. And that's one thing you should know: is when you come to France, there is different cuisine in each different region yes 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 my friend I'll tell them yes there are some dishes that work everywhere throughout France the duck the baguettes and bread and the croissants and the cheeses these things are all throughout the country and they are wonderful but each region has a special little some special dishes that are out there that you should definitely try when you are there and so what we're gonna do today is give you the things you should really try and eat especially when you're here in Normandy now to get started what you need to know is here in Normandy it, it is a bit chilly I mean we're here the you know it's the end of March beginning of April and I'm a little cold like I need a jacket on with my quarter set and with this cool weather you don't really get so much grape growth what you get is apple and pear growing so there's a lot of apple orchards a lot of pear orchards out there and what they make with that is cider okay cider is the what you're gonna be drinking instead of wine yes you can get wine it's not a problem but cider is gonna be the big thing you're gonna try here because it actually is really good if you've never had cider before this isn't like going down to the orchard and at the US and having some apple cider this has alcohol in it okay two three percent alcohol is usually how it is so it's a family a family friendly kind of thing so no one gets too crazy but it is really especially from here also if you want to have if you want to have something a little bit less strong you know they do have really great apple juice here too of course but if you want something stronger you've got Calvados which is the kind of like an apple brandy you know the stronger <clears throat> a little more force in between you kind of thing and the thing is when you do go to Normandy make sure you do have some some cider when you are here and sometimes what people like to do is they like to have the Calvados the 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 alcohol the apple alcohol between meals to kind of clean the palate make a hole for another tasty tasty food to come down okay so that's the first thing it shows apples and pears really reflect that in the drink and also like desserts and other kind of things now another thing you want to know is that there's a lot of cream here a lot of dairy products that are here so yes you have really good milk you have great butter when you're here the thing is where you really see it is in the cream in the sauces okay whether you're having the pork which is really good here or the seafood which is to die for here in Normandy you will see a lot of cream influence like coming in things cooked in that um, in terms of candies there's a lot there's caramels you'll see around town you know then you can the Mer Poulard you know <laughs> she's got her omelets and she also has you know her caramels out there too and you have all these things and it is really kind of goes back to that cream and apple thing now Aside from the apples and the cream, what are the things you should eat when you are here? Now to start off with this, since we're in Normandy, we always talk about the D-Day beaches and you go to the, the bay and you see, you know, go to Mont Saint-Michel and you see the sea. The thing is, seafood is all over the place here. And one of the things you're gonna love, the scallops, you can have those and they'll have them cooked in all kinds of different ways or, or mussels or you can have the, the, the fish that's here is fantastic. What I recommend is asking for the fish of the day because they'll have it, all the, menu, all the menus we've seen has Oh, and as for our fish of the day, and the thing is, one of the good fish that is around here is sole, and it's really from right around here. So they're literally fishing it, and you're getting as fresh as it can be, and it is fantastic. And literally every restaurant we've gone to while we've been here for a week has had sole as their fish of the day. But you will see other fish. You might see a haddock or cod or stuff like that. But sole is the, the big fish you should really try when you are here. It is really good. So first thing, seafood, okay? Whether it's scallops or, or, or fish or oysters, because you can get oysters here. And a lot of the, the menus might have oysters as a starter, especially when you're coming down to buy the, the D-Day beaches. If you go by Rhone, it might be a little bit different. You go up to Upper Normandy. But honestly, like the seafood, it's a definite must to start off with and sometimes you can actually find a fish stew that's actually really good as well so if you want something different I mean they have a lot of different varieties with the fish and different things they do with it once you've eaten your seafood fill you might get tired after a week of seafood it could happen I, I haven't gotten too tired of it but it does happen if you want to try some other things one thing you might want to look at is getting the chicken when it's here they actually have a chicken um, where they actually cook it in the the, the cream and the butter and the, the cider and there's some calvados and all kinds of stuff mixed together when they cook it and it is actually a really fantastic chicken dish when you are here if you're looking for something a little bit more adventuresome you will see tripe 
Yes, tripe will show up on the menu a few times. If you're not sure what tripe is, that's the stomach. And the thing is, the, the, the tripe sometimes can be a bit chewy, sometimes can be a bit hard for people to kind of like eat. If you want a simple way to eat the tripe, what I actually recommend is having the Andouille sausage. It's actually from here, and you can have the famous French sausage, you know, when you are here. And sometimes what they'll do is they'll grind it up and put it in oysters or, or with your potato or all kinds of other things. And that Andouille sausage, yes, is made for the stomach, the tripe and stuff like that. It is just awesome okay so if you don't want to go to special tripe you can just want to have some you know a little bit of it the andouille sausage is a must now another thing you look at is the duck now the duck throughout france is fantastic and here is no difference so that's always a safe bet if you see that on the menu well we're taken now one of the places you're definitely going to go when you go to normandy is mont saint michel it is a fantastic view and it's overrun with tourists and there's so many people that go through but it is still so gorgeous that you will go there it's okay it's kind of part of the mandatory 10-day american you know France trip is like Paris, Normandy, Loire Valley for the chateaus, back to Paris and leave. And when you're in here in Normandy, you will go to Mont Saint Michel. And when you go there, there's kind of two things you should try to have. One thing is you want to have an omelet at um, Merpolades or Merpolades omelet. Basically, a super fluffy omelet. It's been very popular for literally a long, a long, 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 long time. Okay, and so you can have that there. And then the other thing you should really try if you want to be a little bit more filling is actually you go for the lamb that's made there. No, it's not my buddies behind us because we don't have the salty water coming into the grass and stuff like that because the salty kind of grasses and stuff like that that the that the um, lambs there and the sheep there eat do actually give a distinct flavor to the lamb. And so it is something special. So you can actually see that on, on menus, not just in Mont Saint-Michel, but outside uh, of Mont Saint-Michel. And it is kind of a really a special thing to have. Now, some other things you might look at is you're like, Mark, you're talking about all this meat and all these kind of things. And is there any veggies in that are going to be around? Yes, you will see the veggies around. A lot more root vegetables because we're in such a cooler climate. So you will see leeks and shallots will come up a lot in the menu. So they do have a really nice flavor. And the thing is, it's kind of like root powerful vegetables that fortify you, but have distinct flavors, which really bring out a special kind of distinct taste of Norman food. And it is kind of really fantastic. I'm a big league fan, so I can't complain about that. Now, if you want to look at some of the special treats you have when you're here, when you're going around, one thing you might look at is you want to have your, your sable, your, your shortbread cookies. You'll see these around a lot of places. They're actually really good. Definitely worth having some of those. Like I said, the caramels that are out there because of all the cream and the dairy here, another good bet for a snack. If you are more of a rice pudding, cinnamon cream kind of person, you got the Targuel. I know I'm butchering the name. It's really good. It's like a combination of rice pudding and cream and, and, and cinnamon mixed together. And it looks way fancier than I make it sound. And it tastes way fancier than I make it sound. But that's one you should definitely try. Another thing is the, 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 the Tartan, the, the, the basically apple crumble when you are here. Remember, this is apple country. And if you have any dessert that's going to be apple or any dessert that's with a fresh fruit here, that is the dessert you want to get and you'll see your menus will have different options definitely go for that now those are some of the sweets you want to have here now when you go out to eat here in normandy you're going to have different options because a lot of them are going to have the menu so you have the starter which i always say go for the oysters or the scallops then you've got the main course which i say get the fish of the day or something like that and then you'll have do you want the do you want the the, the cheese or do you want the dessert or do you want both go for both okay you can have the fancy desserts and the nice desserts that are here but also the cheeses are here and there's a lot of different cheeses actually in Normandy and just like anywhere in France there's lots of distinguished cheese but the one you probably heard of the most is Camembert that's actually from here in Normandy so you should have that when you're here to get you know the the real Camembert from this actual region I mean you get it everywhere but it's kind of special to have it when you are here now, I will say something. When you go to restaurants here, what you need to know is they have distinct hours when they do serve. So lunchtime, you know, you're looking, you know, 11, 11 till about two is kind of like prime eating time. But more, it's more dinner time that you have issues because some restaurants, they don't start serving until seven or 7.15 at night and they go till about 10. So if you're getting hungry about five or six, you might have a harder time finding places unless you're in your place like Mont Saint-Michel or Ruin, which have you know, fast food. Well, Ruin has like the fast food things and most of Michelle has tourists all the time. If big tourist places, you can get food all the day, but if you're going to be staying in little villages and things like that, I mean, you, you might be a little bit tougher to find an earlier dinner. So be it's just a heads up on that one. Um, I will say if you come in here to Normandy, you will enjoy the food and you can have the, the, the historically French food and that you're going to enjoy here. But make sure you take the time, at least try some of these regional dishes that I put down on here because then you get much more of the experience because it's not just intricate and duck, and, but they're both great here, but they're great throughout France. But make sure you have some of those special things here and definitely one of the things you have to have 
is the cider when you are here that is especially of the place and it is good um wine i mean a lot of places we wonder oh our house wine's a bordeaux our house wine's from somewhere else because here it's cider anyway i say au revoir merci and bon appetit you know the three french words you all should know merci is thank you <laughs> and bon appetit is good appetite okay anyway have a great time here in normandy it is well worth checking out if you want to learn more five things you love and hate about normandy 10 things that'll shock you about normandy how to do the d-day beaches top 10 sites to see here in normandy check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on twitter facebook instagram and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions and we hope you have a great time here in Normandy we know you will because these places this place is just fantastic anyway bye from Normandy